Delayed resolution in harmony is the practice of, well, instead of resolving to the basic tonic chord that would be expected at the end of a progression, we instead go to an unexpected chord that leaves the tension hanging for longer, and then we work our way from there back to the chord that we originally had expected to resolve to. That's delayed resolution. That's what we're going to talk about in this lesson. I'll give you 10 examples of delayed resolution that all sound amazing. You can use these in your arranging, your theory study, your, your practicing, your improvisation, your jamming, whatever you want. I'm Jared Borkowski from SoundGuitarLessons.com, where I teach musicianship skills on the guitar so we can express ourselves more freely, where I have courses on improvisation, uh, ranging, fretboard theory, technique, much more. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow. I have new lesson videos every week. Let's dive into the lesson. <music> All right, I'll walk through these 10 examples here, and some of them are just single chords, and then we're actually gonna do full chord progressions that delay the resolution as well. And then I'll give you a bonus tip at the end for how to apply this outside of just only thinking of harmony, which will be pretty cool. Example one is just the straight up the uh, normal, non, not reharmonized, not delayed version. We'll do a two, five, one in C major, and the melody will be do, 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 do. Okay, so that final note is the tonic. And that's the note that we're basically going to reharmonize each time to delay the resolution. And I'll sing along just so you can hear the melody over it. It's pretty important to hear that rather than just the chord, so we hear how the chord is sitting over that melody. So that's what we're working with. Let's reharmonize it by playing another chord that the root is the same as the note that we're harmonizing. And we will change the tonic chord to diminished seven. This is a go-to delayed resolution chord from early popular music, from classical music, from jazz arrangements. Not so common anymore in popular music, uh, but really cool to play a diminished seven chord on the tonic and then resolve it to whatever kind of uh, major chord that, we, that we're wanting to play, major seven or triad, sometimes I'll do either one. So. Hear that delayed resolution there with diminished seven. Let's go through these examples. Next one is, what if the harmonized note is the third of the chord? We're gonna go a little bit methodically because that's how I like to do things. So the harmonized note, what if it's the third of the chord? Well, C is the third of A flat major. So we'll play A flat major seven. You could do any type of A flat major chord or A minor chord to have the C in there. So, do, 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 do. Pretty cool, right? And you can do any kind of A flat major chord. So for example, you could have that be A flat dominant seven sharp 11 as an example too. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's move on through more examples. Example number four, if the tonic note is the fifth of the chord, then, well, here's the tonic note. And you can say, if that's five, then what's one? What's the chord that we're gonna go to? Five, six, seven, one. Oh, it's F. Okay, so any kind of F chord that has a five in it. So F major seven, for example. It's a little bit of what's called a plagal cadence in classical music four to one chord. Okay, even better, this is very jazz harmony, but uh, beautiful to do. Take the four chord, make it minor six. Do, 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 do. Pretty cool, right? We're gonna add strings of chords to it all in a sec. Okay, example number five, there's a few of these. I love this one. If the tonic note is the seventh, okay? C is the tonic note we're harmonizing. What if it's the seven of chord? Oh, seven, one. Oh, D flat major seven. This is a very common delayed resolution that happens, especially in jazz music. The major seven chord, a half step up, and then moving a, a half step down. So, do, 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 do. pretty cool. Now, what if it's the third inversion? Because this note is actually in the chord as the seven, which they, they all have that in the chord because that's the point of harmonizing it. But this is really cool to have C as the bass note. And guitaristically, we can have this shape where the top three notes just move down. So I'll go do, 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 do. Kind of 
kind of cool, right? Now, also, C is the seven of, it's, it's the flat seven of any kind of D minor chord. So here's my favorite one, D half diminished. Let's do that. Actually, a little side tip there, that is the exact same, uh, the same notes in that chord as F minor six. So you get kind of the same flavor, just a different inversion of that chord. Minor six and half diminished have the same structure as each other. Don't worry about that. Uh, Let's do one more version of that that is my absolute favorite, which is the third inversion of half diminished. This chord shape, absolutely beautiful chord shape. This is D half diminished over C. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then resolve to this. Isn't that cool? I love that, the root stays the same on the bottom. Okay, we did what if the tonic is the root, the third, the fifth, the seven. What if the tonic note that we're harmonizing is the nine? Okay, well, then we could play D, uh, sorry, B flat seven with a nine. So B flat nine, B flat dominant seven with a nine. I'd play this physical shape on it in this case. It'll sound like this. I love that, it's so cool. Okay, let's get into progressions. So what if we do strings of chords to delay the resolution? Well, we already did A flat and we already did B flat nine. So what if we play those as a progression? So we'll go, uh, so we're gonna play the bass move, it's gonna sound like that. Kind of moving through them slowly so we just hear it sitting with it. Let's go into example eight. Example eight, we're gonna do A flat major seven again, but going down to G seven sus four, because we're gonna keep the sus there to keep the harmonized note, so. I love that sus sound there, G seven sus four. A couple more examples. Example number nine is a progression. Uh, we're gonna do E flat minor six, A flat seven, D flat major. What? It's a two five one in D flat major. It's pretty cool. Two five one, a half step up from the key, and now all of that fits with that note. So it goes. When it goes down the half step, you'll realize where you are in the key. It's really cool. I'll do that one more time. Hard to keep the note singing. Sorry for my singing. Hope it's helpful a little bit to hear that while I'm playing. Uh, example number 10 is the progression. We're gonna do a big crazy progression moving chromatically down. We're gonna do F half diminished, F minor six, E7 sharp five, E flat 13, D minor seven, um, and then D flat major seven, and then half step down. Let's hear how that sounds. It's this, this, this. Okay. That one has all the strings and notes and the bass movement is moving down all the way to the root there. So I encourage you to make up your own. Try, of course, any and all of the ones that I showed you here, but anything that has that tonic note in it, any chord that has that in it, you can experiment with landing on that first. Don't worry about how it works theoretically, just see how it sounds and then find your way somehow to the chord just the C major chord in this case that we wanted to resolve to. So explore your own, that's really fun. I'll give you the bonus tip in one second, but first, if you don't have my chord chart called Chords with Color, that can be a really great resource. It has a ton of chords and colorful options with extensions, big chord chart in multiple different keys, how to see it in major and minor. You can use that in a lot of ways. It's mostly open string shaped chords, but it can be really helpful for something like this. You can find some beautiful extended chord shapes to try to delay a resolution with, um, and that is for free with the link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. Here's your bonus tip, and that is that we can do this idea of delayed resolution anytime 
without the harmony having to do it with us, right? So you can take a basic two, five, one, and over the top of it, delay the resolution, just superimposing, say for example, uh, outlining a D flat major seven and then going to major seven. So if I went two, five, D flat, and then resolve, I'll do that again. Hear that sound in there for like a moment. I just outline the chord tones of D flat major seven and then resolve to that. So you can do it in your lead playing if you want to get into that. I post a new lesson video every week. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.